No. My parents were born here. My no, they weren't. No, they weren't. You're a n You're on camera. I don't give a what I'm on. Apparently not. Camera. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so good. Thank you. 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 Okay. Oh, that's so funny. Tell all your friends how stinking you are. Okay. Tell your friends. Okay. All right. Hey, let's just smash the back of your car. Dude. Get the away from me. Hello, Shane Green of Denver, Colorado. You know, the way I was able to confirm Shane's identity was by finding him in this different news story. It seems like some people had stolen his bike, and so he went to get it back by paying for it, and the people who had stolen his bike attack him with a bike chain and punch his wife in the back of the head, where she did get stitches. And then the police came, took the bike away from Shane, and gave it back to his robber because Shane didn't have a way to prove it. Driving by, I just seen it chained up outside of a house and it's been missing for a number of days. He stopped to talk to a person who appeared to live in the home at Dakota in Pennsylvania in Wash Park, a conversation that quickly took a turn for the worse. And I did not accuse him, no. I said, I understand, I have to take your word for that. And uh, what I'd like to do is whatever you paid for this bike, whoever had sold it to you or whatnot, I'll give you that back. He instantly said it was $10. But then Green says the suspect went inside the house and came out with a bat. Then picked up the five foot tow chain that he had the bike uh, tied up or uh, chained up with and he began swinging that aggressively. The people who live next to him are yelling at him at the same time saying, you're not in trouble yet, don't do anything to get yourself in jail. Green picked up the bike for cover. So I picked the bike up to defend myself from the second swing he's gonna make. As I have the bike up full length like this, he swings the chain. Then Green says another man hit his wife in the head. She wanted to keep her identity to herself, but did show us the five staples she got in the back of her head last night. Denver police say they are investigating the matter, but have made no arrests. Adding insult to injury, police gave Green's bike back to the theft suspect because Green didn't have documentation or a serial number to prove it's his. I asked where it was going and I was shocked to hear that it was going back to the person who stole the bike. Green nah, Shane, that one you deserve. Your behavior at that gas station was nowhere near normal. You are an unhinged menace to society. And now I'm starting to doubt that stolen bike story. Get the fuck away, Benny. Wait, computer, enhance the image. Bah, <laughs> stolen bike.